Hello, everyone. Today's poem is 小雅出车 a 小雅 poem from the Book of Songs. This poem is a very typical 小雅 poem,、uh, which is half lyric, half、uh, epic. So basically, the stage wind poem are sort of the lyric poem or folk song poem. There's no Stories、uh, in their content. Of course, it must be something that、uh, made the poet write those stage wind. But in the content of that those poems, you cannot see a word associated with a story,、uh, with any of the history backgrounds. They are purely、uh, writing about. Piece of、uh, scenic wheels、uh, or a piece of actions, and they are focused on express their feelings. And the ancient poems, the song,、uh, basically is the song for the Lord, for the heaven, for the God. And、uh, there's not much thing about、uh, lyrical, but、uh, They write a lot of the things,、uh, record history stories,、uh, basically the mainly for the purpose to record the、uh, great achievement by their ancestors or by some of the current lord or generals. So this is to serve as the gift、uh, for their ancestors, for their heavens. So basically, they are the. Uh, sort of the epic、uh, poems, and the Xiao Ya basically is、uh, was written by the high-ranking officers. So they are the feed on the street. They are doing some of the very、uh, practical and work.、Uh, they have a very very、uh, delicate duty for the country for the Zhou Dynasty. Uh, like this poem, basically, is describing a war on behalf a general. The general's、uh, name is Nan Zhong. So,、uh, this name it was finally、uh, co- confirmed. It's a real history figure, and uh, uh, many uh, poems in the Book of Songs was、uh, convinced or confirmed by the current. Uh, uh, modern archaeology uh, from the some of the relics、uh, undercovered, and the、uh, not to say the poems in the Book of Songs uh, uh, has been confirmed by a lot of the、uh, history books,、uh, the ancient history books. So and now it's double confirmed、uh, by the.、Uh, Modern archaeology. So,、uh, generally speaking, the poems in the Book of Songs, especially the ancient songs, Song and the Xiao Ya, the、uh, poems, they are treated as the、uh, real history record, and there's no brag. They are all real, but sometimes it's hardly for us to know what it's really about. All in all, it's a poem, not like the history book, which has everything recorded, the time recorded, the history figures, the、uh, affairs, the stories. So it's only、uh, write about something really touching and special. That's the poem about, right? Okay, let's get to this six paragraph.、Uh, Narrative poem, and I will go through the meanings very briefly. It's a very very long poem. The title "Chu Chu" means、uh, leaving my home and driving the chariot out. Chu is always mean leave uh, home, uh, go outside from home. Okay, the first paragraph. 我出我车，与彼暮矣 I'm going out. I'm 
driving on my chariot, and I arrived to the、uh, very countryside. So the Mu means a very special place. So basically, in today's concept, it's the place of the slaves who lives and who、uh, do their farming work, feed the horses and、uh, sheep in the wild. So those people in the Chinese were so called 野人 the wild person. Basically, they are not wild person as today's concept. The Basically, they are mean. In the Zhou Dynasty, they, these people are the slave people, and it's the very, very outskirts of the town of the city. And the, in the second paragraph,、uh, in the second sentence, 与彼交易交 is a, a very con- correspondent concept to this.、Uh, Term mu, so the mu is a very very outside、uh, skirt of the town, and、uh, inner from the mu、uh, areas, the inner side is jiao. So these are the citizens who lives around city, but they are still outside of the city. So there, the, basically, there's three zones in a. State, the city within the city wall. So normally, the noble people or a lot of the craftsmen they lived in town, and then outside of the town is the so-called jiao, the suburb. So this is the citizens who live there, and they are the soldiers when a war、uh, comes from. And、uh, outside of the suburb is the outside. Uh, far outside skirt, so that was so called as mu. So they are the slaves、uh, who is doing the farming work to feed the horses and sheep there. And normally, those slaves they don't need to go to the battlefield. So it's the duty for the citizens and the nobles to go to the war to defeat the enemy. Okay, the next sentence. 自天子所，呃，为我来矣。So from the、uh, heavens, sun's place, someone called me to come here. Come, uh, so 天子 the heavens, sun is the king of the Zhou Dynasty. So that's the very standard term. 天子 and the in the later generation, later dynasty, the Emperor was also、uh, called as Tianzi, the Son of the Heaven. So here it tells us very clearly it's a very very important war affair. The King of Zhou Dynasty ordered this person to、uh, to、uh, lead the army to、uh, to fight this war. 招比仆夫，谓之宰矣。So, so I called those、uh, labors. I called those peoples. So he, he's still in the outskirt、uh, areas. So basically, they, these are the slaves. They don't need to go to、uh, the battlefield. 谓之宰矣。So I ask them to load everything. So 宰。Load is the very original meaning. Is load everything. So what is load everything? It's not load the cargoes on the chariot. It means to、uh, to fix and make sure all the weapons and the supplies ready. And so this is a preparation for the work, and also to make the horses chariot. In order and ready, so this why this person come to this area to the outskirt area. 王室多难，唯其极矣。So here, actually, everybody know 
is something so urgent, and this one is driving a cherry out. So it has a very strong sense of war, and here it point point out very clearly. It's the king's affairs, and there's so many、uh, difficulties and、uh, disasters, and it's so urgent. The Jing is a long word; it's equivalent as Ji is is so hurry this this term because the enemy is on the gate. Uh, that's is uh when we refer the history book. History book is roughly uh eight hundred and. Twenty-three、uh, before century in the year, eight hundred twenty-three before century. So that's the thing. Okay, the second paragraph. 我出我车，与彼交矣。I'm leaving my home and I'm driving my chariot out, and now I'm driving to the suburb of the city. 设此照矣。见彼毛矣 ，I put up this, uh, battle flag, and I set up those battle flag. Zhao and Mao are battle flags. The Zhao is a very long and narrow, uh, uh, flag. The Mao actually is made of feather. The Mao is used to, uh, to make. The, To issue the order when the battling while the battle, and the, the Zhao is for the purpose to summon the, all the citizens to join the army to form this army. So, in the second paragraph, basically, the, this general, the poet, comes to the suburb area where the citizens lives, and he put up the. Uh, battle flags. So the citizens, when they saw those flags, they know, wow, it's a, a there's a war. I have to join the army to fulfill my duty to serve the country. Bi yu zhao si hu bu fei fei. So this is describing the battle flag. Yu is the top of the. Flag. It's in the shape of a eagle, and、uh, Fei Fei is a much more narrow and a sleeve attached at the end of the flag, the Zhao flag. So, Bi Yu Zhao Si Hu Bu Fei Fei. All those battle flags, not a one. That don't、uh, fly in the wind. 忧心悄悄，匍匐旷翠。So I'm so worried,、uh, silently, because I'm the generals. I cannot show my weariness、uh, or my fright of this battle、uh, to others. And why this general, the poet, worries so much? The citizens, the soldiers, they look so ill. Cui means ill, Kuang Cui, very ill. So here actually is a very very accurate、uh, description of the、uh, situation in the Zhou Dynasty. In the Zhou Dynasty,、uh, when the army Uh, is about to、uh, start marching.、Uh, they will hold some ceremonies, and they use the funerals ceremony、uh, for the、uh, for the army to go outside. So when they order to start、uh, marching on, all the soldiers they cry out loud. Because nobody knows、uh, who would come back, and the code of conduct of the Zhou Dynasty, they they、uh, they 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 use the funerals、uh, ceremony to 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 
make this ceremony. So the first two paragraphs is right about how to prepare the walls. So the、uh, this general, this poet, heard the order from the king of the Zhou Dynasty, and he first went to the outskirt area and prepared all the weapons, the chariot and the horses, and then he came to the、uh, suburb. Area and he put up the battle flags to summon all the citizens to join the army. And、uh, when the army was finally、uh, made up and、uh, ready, they hold a short ceremony, used a funeral ceremony, and then just start. And、uh, it also、uh, vividly tell us everybody. Uh, the general is so worried, and the soldiers they are so sad. They cry out loud. Okay, the third paragraph. Wang Ming Nan Zhong, Wang Cheng Yu Fang. Uh, the king of Zhou ordered Nan Zhong. So Nan Zhong is the subject of this poem, and、uh, there's a saying that. Uh, for, in the history book, Nan Zhong and、uh, Yin Jifu, the two was on charge of the, this army, and、uh, we know Yin Jifu has wrote some other poems in the Book of Songs, and uh, uh, so someone contributed this poem as the poems written by Yin Jifu. Uh, but actually, it's hard to tell. It it could be even written by Nan Zhong himself or someone else. So it's hard to tell. And、uh, Nan Zhong is the general of this army. Okay, the king ordered General Nan Zhong and uh, uh, Wang Cheng Yu Fang to to build a city at the place of. Fang, Fang is a place name, and Cheng is a verb to build a city. So here we、uh, know that the order from the king is very clearly.、Uh, let's、uh, defend ourselves and build up a city to defend ourselves at the place of Fang. Okay, 出车蓬蓬，呃，旗照泱泱。So finally, it's the time to, uh, to start their journey. So go out and driving the chair out with the, uh, 蓬蓬 sound. So the 蓬蓬 is the sound simulation, uh, word to describe the, uh, chair out is running. And the flag is f-、uh, blowing all the time. And here is a new word, "qi," is means the label of that tribe. So the army basically is consists of different tribes, and each tribe has their own labels. Normally, it's a feather at the back hand. So that's the meaning of qi and the zhao. We know it's the battle flag. It's a long,、uh, narrow sleeve attached with a much narrow、uh, sleeve, which is called pei. Okay, let's continue. 天子命我成彼数方 Okay, actually, it's, it's here is a little bit repeating. With the first sentence of this paragraph, the Son of Heaven ordered me to build the city at the place of Shuo Fang, and、uh, here is a little more details and gave us. Shuo means north, so the enemy is from the north, and the Shuo Fang also is a, a ancient term for the north. Trap、uh, of the Zhou Dynasty. 
So here, uh, it double confirmed the order from the king to build up a city to defend the、uh, north trap at Fang. He he, nan zhong, xian yun yu xiang. So he he is describing this general is shining bright. Uh, because he's,、uh, of course, he's in、uh, armor with feathers. So the general Nan Zhong is shining bright. He, he's so powerful, and he's about to、uh, defend the tribe of Xian Yun. So Xian Yun, this term we we have saw, saw this in other poems. It's the tribe, a nomad tribe from the north. Of China. Okay, the fourth paragraph. Xi Wo Wang Yi, Shu Ji Fang Bi. Those days when I live in my home, go to the battlefield, the weeds, the cobs, are in its best blossom. Jin Wo Lai Si, Yu Xie Zai Tu. So today, when on my way back, it's snowing heavily. So it tells us、uh, the war, the battle, actually lasts all、uh, almost a year.、Uh, in the spring time,、uh, they leave their、uh, home and went to the battlefield. And when they come back, it's the winter. It's snowing. 王室多难，不遑起居。呃、uh, ，the king's affair is. Has so many disasters and difficulties, so that we have no time to have a little rest or have a long rest overnight. 岂不怀归，为此简书。呃、uh, ，is that to say I never thought about going home? Definitely not. We are we are bearing our duty by this. Bamboo book. Jian is a piece of bamboo. So in the Zhou and the Qin Dynasty, it was a, a material. It's the paper for the Zhou people. So on that piece of bamboo, it was written.、Uh, the order of the king was written there. So he should fulfill his duty of the order of the by the king of Zhou. The fourth paragraph tells us when they start their、uh, journey to the battlefield and when they come back and、uh, express their homesick a little bit, and uh, they uh, are so、uh, respectful to the order of the king, and、uh, that that's the main reason they、uh, stick to the. Very poor life and hard life in the battlefield. Okay, the fifth paragraph. 幺幺草丛，踢踢腐中。呃、uh, ，the insects in the grass they are sounding like 幺幺 and、uh, the grasshoppers is jumping like. T T. So the T T is describing the stairs. The grasshopper is jumping up and up. So basically, it's the very typical writing technique. Xing to set some to describe the scenic wheels. Maybe not very relevant to the subject of the poem, but here it tells us the time.、Uh, it's the autumn's time. The Grasshopper is jumping everywhere, and the、uh, a lot of the insects、uh, they make their beautiful sounds in the autumn. 未见君子，忧心忡忡；既见君子，我心则降。So here is a little bit hard. To understand the meaning is quite simple, but it's hard to interpret. It. Interpret what it is about.、Uh, before I saw the Lord, I'm so worried, and、uh, 
as far as I saw the Lord, my weariness has gone. I'm, I feel so good. So,、uh, here is something. Maybe the troops is in two branches. So the other branches they、uh, went to the west. We can see the following: 赫赫难种。勃发西戎，呃，所以 the powerful, uh, beautiful, uh, bright general 男种 he approached and、uh, conquered the nomad race of 西戎 So 西戎 is the term, uh, a very popular term in the classic, uh, Chinese literature. It's the nomad race in the northwest or in the west. And、uh, here we can see that in the third paragraph, the king of Zhou ordered the general to build a city in the north direction at the place of Shufang. And、uh, in this paragraph, it described he approached and.、Uh, Conquered the nomad in the west. So basically,、uh, there's a lot of things. Maybe、uh, my guess is at the very beginning, the king ordered to go to the north and to defend the nomad race,、uh, so-called Xian Yun. And、uh, it's a quite a long time、uh, from the spring to the winter. Uh, six to eight months、uh, time. So there's lots of things happened, and uh, uh, in the meanwhile, maybe a branch of、uh, troops they went to the west to conquer the nomad race of Xirong. So, and this paragraph describe that、uh, this troop. Went to the west and then come back to the city at Shufang. So the two troops finally reunited together, and、uh, the general feels so happy, and they come back uh, uh, conquered. That's my wild guess. So otherwise, it's so hardly to know、uh, why.、Uh, In this paragraph, it said, "Before I saw the Lord,、uh, I'm so worried. And、uh, as far as I saw the Lord come back, I'm so、uh, I feel so satisfied, and my worries has gone." So the Lord here referred to the general who goes to lead the army, goes to the west, and then they come back. Okay, the last paragraph. 春日迟迟，晦暮凄凄。So it's spring season again, and、uh, we are、uh, marching slowly in the、uh, field. The grass and the woods are so prosperous. Hui means grass. Mu, of course, refers to the tree, the woods. 苍庚节节，彩繁萋萋。苍庚 is an oriel bird. It's the、uh, most distinguishable, outstanding season birds in the springtime. So、uh, here, actually, the poet、uh, goes to the most、uh, featured aspects of the spring in this area. I think it's the area around. The capital city of the Zhou.、Uh, so and also can feel the happiness and uh, uh, sort of the satisfied.、Uh, everything is so bright, happy and prosperous. Cai Fan,、uh, we can saw this term very quite often, and、uh, normally it was treated as a wild vegetable.、Uh, But in the Book of Songs,、uh, it was this wild veggie was always used in the ceremony. 
for the tem in the temples in the ancestors' temples. So it's it's one of the uh, offers for in the temple. Very important offers in the temple. So here actually it uh, implied something. They will go to the ancestors' temple, and also that's the. Uh, routines for a uh, victory uh, troops when they come back, they will go to the ancestor temples and make their report to the ancestors to the heavens. And uh, here we can see the following sentences: Is the uh, something happened in the temples? Uh, we this is confirmed in so many bronze vessels.、Uh, the there's a lot of the、uh, articles was carved on those bronze vessels. They always has a very quite similar words、uh, as following: 直训祸仇，薄言还归。Uh, with all kind of captives, we went back. 训 Uh, means the captive, the captive from the enemy, that mainly for the purpose、uh, of the information. So they、uh, captured those enemies for the information of the enemies. And the chou is just mean the captive, the prisoners of the enemies. And these are the very typical wording, either in the Book of Songs or. In the,、uh, the in the words in those bronze carved on those bronze vessels. Okay, the last sentence. 赫赫难种，闲云于夷 Okay, the powerful, bright general 难种 He finally. Uh, sweep the enemy of Xian Yun. Okay, this is the end of this poem. It describes a long war,、uh, starting at the mid springs, and when they come back from the battlefield, it's another spring time already. And、uh, this is quite possible writing the same war, same affair. As the poem, uh, Cai Wei, so you can have a cross check on these two poems, and、uh, another poem, Si Mu, we had, is might possibly is about this poem, and we can also see、uh, saw some of the writing features in this poem. The feeling expressed in this poem is not. Strong. So only in the middle, he just point out, 起不怀归 Is that to say, I never thought about going home. Uh, so, uh, basically, it's a narrative points, and it use a lot. It borrowed a lot of the sentence from other poems in the Book of Songs, or maybe some other poems borrow borrowed the sentence from this poem. It's hard to tell. But uh, let let me give you some of the example. 出车蓬蓬 So this we can saw this sentence in other poems in the Book of Songs. And、uh, 今我来思 we saw a lot of times in the poems in the Book of Songs. Uh, 不遑起居 we saw this in the poem of Cai Wei. 起不怀归 So, so we can see a lot this type of、uh, sentences、uh, used in many poems, and、uh, here it's almost a paragraph, same as other poems. 未见君子，忧心忡忡；既见君子，我心则降。It's almost、uh, a paragraph. Borrowed from other poems. That's my belief because the other poems quite simple, and this 
，未见君子，忧心忡忡；既见君子，我心则降。Is the mainstream of that poem, so it cannot、um, borrow a piece of the sentence to make a mainstream. Some other、uh, very frequent、uh, sentences like. 采繁其妻，直寻祸丑，薄言还归。So we can see that in this poem,、uh, the poem by the Zhou people actually there should have a, some of the poems already. And when they write new poems, they、uh, borrowed、uh, not only wordings. But they sometimes they borrowed almost a paragraph from other poems to make their new poems, and、uh, this poem was roughly written around the year of eight hundred twenty-three before century. Okay, that's for today, and、uh, bye bye.